Looking for a way to spice up your picking and sound like a pro? But after learning this slick, you're gonna sound and look like a pro in under 10 minutes. Let's go. So the basis of this lick is the E minor pentatonic scale. Something you're likely already familiar with, but we're just taking a chunk of that and we're applying this picking technique called double picking, where you're essentially playing the same note twice in a row. And it creates this kind of cool slapbacky stuttery effect that just is a great way to build up to an epic lick. And it's something that a lot of the great guitar players use. So we start with the 12th fret on the A string and we're gonna play the 12th fret, then the 14th fret, then we're gonna play 12 on uh, the D string, and we're gonna play that twice. So we're gonna double pick that. And by the way, every note that you pick in this lick should be alternate picked, right? So when we start, we're gonna do a down stroke, then up, and then down, up, right? So we have 12, 14, 12 on D, twice. Then we're gonna come back to the 14th fret on the A string, and then we're gonna play 12 on the D string, and then we're gonna play 14 on the D string and double pick that. So we have... Then we're gonna play 12 to 14 on D. Then we're gonna play the 12th fret on the G string twice, double pick it. So we have... Kinda see how the notes are like kinda cascading as they build up? And then from here, we're gonna play the 14th fret on the D string, then 12 on G. Then 14 on G twice, double pick it. Then we're gonna play 12 to 14 on G. And then 12 on the B string and double pick it. So we have. So showing it to you in chunks like that is to really help you see that kind of this is a repeating sort of pattern that's just moving across notes in the minor pentatonic scale. All right, so once we've reached uh, 12th fret on the B string, we're gonna play the 14th fret on the G string, then 12 on B, and then we're gonna double pick the 15th fret on the B string. So we have. Then once we reach here, we're gonna, we're right at the end of the lick. We're gonna double pick uh, the 15th fret, and then we play the 12th fret on the B string, and then 15th fret, and then we're gonna pick it one more time and give it a whole step bend. So that way, it's like we're building up to that big payoff, which is that big bend at the end there. So that way, you know, instead of just walking up the scale like in a linear way to build up to it, you know, that's just kind of boring compared to... So that's the whole point. A subtle change like that double picking uh, technique can really add a lot of flavor when you're trying to build up to a big bend like that. If double picking is a brand new technique for you, make sure when you're practicing this lick to really take it slow and think about what you're doing and also think about where you're at with your alternating, right? So the very first move that we make is a downstroke and it's gonna be down, up, down, up, down, up the whole way through, including all the double picks, right? So I'm gonna play the lick slow and just pay attention to what my picking hand is doing as I'm walking through it. If you're already familiar with playing the pentatonic scale in different keys and different positions on the fretboard, you can actually take this lick and adapt it to whatever key you want. It's literally just taking notes in the pentatonic scale and applying the picking technique, right? So if you know the notes to the minor pentatonic scale, you automatically know the framework to play this lick. You just have to adapt it with your picking hand, right? Because we're not moving up just like one note at a time in a linear fashion like I showed you. We're kind of building up and the double picking just kind of creates this like, very anticipatory sort of lead in to when we get that big payoff at the end, like I said, that big bend at the end. That's what I like to call bends like that, bends at the end. Or maybe end bends sounds better, or bend ends. I don't know, what do you think? But anyway, you now know a badass new lick that uses a pro level picking technique to spice up your pentatonic solos, especially if they lead up to an epic end bend, right? But we just covered the key of E minor today. Imagine being able to play it in every key. That's why I'm giving you 
a free guitar cheat sheet. This is gonna show you how to instantly identify and solo in every key on your guitar's fretboard. So be sure to click here to claim your copy or check the link in the description box. And if you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and be sure to check out our other relevant lessons right over here. I wanna thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm Eddie with Guitar Mastery Method and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.